Now, I know what a lot of you are saying. You're saying, this can't be Rust. Rust is bad graphics. It doesn't look good. There's bugs. It's not a pretty game, but this is Rust. Rust Experimental Version, which is now the official version of Rust, has been released. And it's it's an improvement. I mean, it's definitely what a lot of people are wanting out the game. Apparently, a lot of people are upset with the current state of Rust. So the dev started to release experimental versions to show people how they are planning to do the game and stuff. And now the experimental versions have become the main game. You can still play the old version, which is the legacy version. Anyway, I'm just going to show you guys a bit of what are the changes to Rust and maybe why you might want to try and pick it up again see how it is. Anyway, guys, here are the different biomes that they have created. Yes, there are new biomes in the new experimental update. Let's see how they look like. So those are the new biomes in Rust. As you maybe could have seen by the water biome, you can now swim in Rust, which is a new feature. In the old Rust, if you went to water, you'd just instantly die, which didn't make much sense, so I'm pretty glad they added that feature. However, they haven't implemented a breathing system yet, so if you go in water, you can literally live under there with the fishes. They have also implemented a new thing, which I don't think is on purpose, but it's called spiding. It's when you run the rock while holding shift and you spam the jump key to get on top of a rock. Me and my friend have called me and my friends call it spiding. I don't know the official name for it though. But it's pretty fun. You can get into houses easily and you can get on top of rocks easily. It's pretty awesome. The devs have also added a completely new UI. As you can see, it's much better. You can see your person over there. And you can see the list of all the recipes of things you can make and how much of uh, what resource you need to make it, how close you are to making it, judging by the bar, and there's tons of different stuff. Each have been put in a category so you can navigate the menu easily and efficiently. They haven't added too many things yet, but I'm pretty sure they'll be adding things soon. Anyway guys, to wrap up this video, if you have Rust in Steam, or maybe you haven't played since the browser version, you might want to give this one a try. It's not that bad, I had a lot of fun with it with my friends. I have to agree though, it is way better with friends. Playing this game alone isn't much fun. So anyway guys, definitely try this game out if you already have it. And maybe even consider buying it if you haven't already. It's quite fun, however it is $20 which is by some quite pricey for a game that all you can do is jump around as a naked man. Anyway guys, that's all for me and have fun gaming.